What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we have a very special video for two reasons. The first one is that we just hit 100,000 subscribers not too long ago so we want to give a huge shout out to everyone that subscribed to us. Thank you guys so much for the support over the last couple years and getting us to 100,000. Secondly, this is also our 400th video, so we wanted to do something really special and feature all the community members on our channel who have sent in videos to us showing off their builds and everything. So here today is some of the best viewer submitted builds that we have received over the last couple years. The first one that we are watching throughout the intro here is from GoldenHawk09, an insane hardcore world. He's fought 10 withers at once and has done so many really cool projects. You can see just this build right here looks amazing and we saw a lot of others during that intro there. Next up we have Addy4321SB and he has an amazing ocean monument transformation. This thing looks incredible. It's got four different quadrants where there's different parts of the builds in each quadrant. You can see there's some nether, some overworld, a lot of different elements going into this build which makes it really special. There's also a huge statue of the ender dragon's head right on the front which I think really makes this build something special and I love taking a look at all the different sections of this one right here. Next up we have a 3000 day hardcore world from Mr. Chips and this right here is kind of the main build in the world but there are a ton of different projects. This one is a giant sand city and right at the center of it is a massive sand pyramid. It's a really cool world. You can go and check out the world tour as well on Mr. Chips channel and all the channels that we're featuring today will be linked down in the description below so you guys can go and give them some love as well. Next up we have Winter and they built this really really cool Japanese style build here. I really like the uh, the colors and everything used here. We've got a lot of contrast with that warped wood and everything really making this build super special. And of course the roof design, the wall design looks great and it's even featuring a really cool nether portal design with that giant sword nether portal making the entire thing uh, out of obsidian even the hilt. Next up we have a really cool redstone build from Dreon and this one is super special because they were able to build Conway's game of life inside of Minecraft which is incredible. You can see there is so much redstone that went into this project here. So basically the way that Conway's game of life works is there's different rules on whether or not the uh, squares will light up and basically a whole bunch of different options can play out across this board. It's really cool to watch and really interesting. If you want to learn more about it, definitely go check out Dreon's channel. Not only is Conway's Game of Life over there, but there's also some other really cool redstone projects like a giant 16-bit calculator. Our next builds that we're showing off are from Finnick, and Finnick has done a lot in this world. There are really cool projects out there. That huge ocean monument that we saw, the gray one here, wasn't actually even an ocean monument transformation. They just decided to build a giant hole and build that ocean monument kind of replica there, which I think is really incredible. There's lots of really cool plans for this world and lots of really cool builds already in it. Definitely go and check them out. It's such a cool world to see. Next up we have a French YouTuber by the name of Cravore and this ocean monument transformation is so insane. I absolutely love it. The giant Poseidon statue and everything down here just looks so good. This is a super detailed build. Every single part has something added to it and I think it makes this whole build just look incredible. I really love that giant Poseidon statue as well and they even have a map of this whole area which just makes this such a cool project. Next up I'm going to feature a couple builds from Leonard Minecraft. Leonard does a ton of really cool builds in Minecraft and he sends us a lot of them to feature on the channel here. This one was an adventure map in Ancient City. Uh, kind of remake where you have to run from the warden or actually hide from the warden and make it up to the treasure room at the top. There's also another adventure map that I just featured on the channel recently, the Tower of Notch. 
The Tower of Notch was a super fun adventure map that featured the Harrowbrine mod. You basically spawn in in this crashed boat here and you have to make it all the way into the tower, past all the mobs, the Harrowbrines, everything like that to win this adventure map. It was honestly a lot of fun. I played the whole thing. I also played the Ancient City one as well. They're a lot of fun, so definitely go check out Leonard's channel. Give him some love. He does some amazing projects in Minecraft, so you'll definitely want to check him out. Next up, we have Razor Minecraft, and Razor Minecraft has a super cool world, starting off with this ocean monument transformation here. This thing looks insane, especially with these shaders on. This is also a thousand day hardcore world, so a lot has been done in this world so far. From really cool gold farms to amazing ocean monument transformation, there are so many cool projects in this world, so definitely go and check Razor out. Next up, and one of my favorites, is from Time Architect. Not only was this build incredible, but it also opened up to the Zetacraft SMP. The Zetacraft SMP was amazing from Season 1 and Season 2. They're doing some incredible things as well, so definitely go and check out Time Architect and the members of Zetacraft because they are building huge builds like this castle here that Time built. This thing looks so cool. There were so many thoughts and details that went into it. Even things like what side of the castle the moss was on. And it was such a cool build to see, especially once the interior was finished up later in the season. Next up, we have Doink TD, and this world is actually insane. We start off here in the gold farm, but there are so many projects throughout the world. Uh, the first one is going to be an ocean monument transformation like you've never seen before. Not only is the shape of this thing unique, it's a rectangular shape, but it's also such a unique design with this giant skull, lava pouring out, the rib cage coming up over the ocean monument. This whole thing is just absolutely insane. Definitely one of my favorite designs just because of how unique it is. You never see uh, any ocean monuments that have that kind of shape. There's only a few out there, but there's also a lot of other really cool projects in this world, like this city that we're looking at here. I really like the market, the walls. There's of course a boat in the dock as well, which just looks so cool. Overall, this world is just insane. So much work has been put into it so far, and it's a really cool world to check out. Last but definitely not least today, we are checking out the function. And now this build is really cool. This is actually some pretty old footage of this build. A lot of new stuff has been added on. The whole goal of this tower is to basically make it 1000 blocks tall. Everything is super unique on it. It's just different uh, types of builds, farms, everything going on inside of this tower. And you may be thinking, the Minecraft build height limit is not 1000. There's no way that this is even possible. So yes, there are some data packs that have been helping uh, to do that. Uh, you can basically extend the world limit by adding on a couple data packs, which is what the function has done here uh, to make this tower super tall. This build is absolutely insane, especially if you see some of the newer features on it. So I definitely recommend going and checking out the functions channel so you can see the latest on what this build looks like now with its huge, huge tower and everything else going on inside of that tower. Anyways, guys, that is all the time that we have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for 100,000 subscribers and thank you for 400 videos on this channel. Thank you so much for all the support and we hope to continue and hopefully hit 1 million subscribers. If you want to send in your build, that email right there is what you can send it to and we will feature it on the channel. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.